So we are a health services company, and that takes a very broad range. Our, our mission is really to help people live better lives and to uh, make health systems better. We really are talking quite a lot about transformation. And in order for us to be a company that can innovate like we expect to, and, and it's a part of our mission to be innovative. So we see doing that requires us to really transform the way we've worked in the healthcare industry to uh, enable these teams to, to be able to, to produce their value faster. And in our uh, organization, we're working very hard to uh, work governance into that automation, figure out fashions to get security and compliance shifted left and allow uh, software development teams to be able to uh, use self-serve security tools within their pipelines and get good feedback rapidly and to, to make better code and to have safe data. We have a lot of leadership support to really see transformation through, and yet when it comes to the day-to-day, -day, we've had a remarkable community and we've really seen things start happening at a grassroots level. We've started having regular discussions where we get people from all over the organization together just as general discussion time, and we'll have topics, and out of that has come some, some great opportunities where removing those silos and getting some of that cross-silo uh, collaboration, we've had some, some great automation bounds start to happen for our organization. And we have a lot of security teams that have joined in and started looking at how the vulnerability scanners and how some of the other enforcement pieces uh, can start to work into CI pipelines. Um, development teams are present, uh, a variety of different development teams. We have a, a, an education group that focuses a lot on helping uh, the adoption of, of different methodologies like Agile, and they've been uh, participating. We get a variety of operations and infrastructure teams come together. I have been very interested in seeing uh, the traditional IT operations teams and the traditional infrastructure teams to really be, be in a place where they're working on a pretty common playing field and they're providing self-services. And our delivery teams are showing reduced time to get new infrastructure to, product, to projects. Uh, they're extremely excited about that. That's been a, a real pain point for software delivery teams is how long they have to wait for infrastructure and seeing that, that lead time reduced has, has been a real outcome for people. There's a thing called High Trust, which is a, a regulatory compliance framework now that for healthcare that's trying to map out all of the different parts and pieces. And being able to tap into that with technology and to get audit data and to get fast feedback to people um, so that we don't require extra teams who are, have three-week wait times for their queues to come in and, and check for us. So we're, we're getting real opportunities to be able to see releases go weekly instead of releases going many months. Mm -hmm.